Shadow Zebraherd. Today we embark on a brand new Minecraft adventure in Minecraft Legends. The Picklins are attacking and we have to build an army to save the overworld. Let's get started. Whoa. So we got a fancy opening cutscene here with a cute little chicken on a tree. This game is so pretty. Oh, there's a little villager. Just enjoying the nice weather, but uh-oh. It's zombie villager. That's not good. Watch out! Aw. It's a nice zombie villager. Oh no, but what's that? Whoa! Is that a nether portal? It is! <laughs> uh, are you nice or evil? Well, which one are you? I don't know anymore. I don't think he's very nice. He looks really angry. Oh no! The buddy! Angry Piglet is attacking! Run! Oh, it's setting the whole forest on fire, too. There's a whole army of them. This is no good. We're gonna start a war. Sending in the invasion. This is really, really bad. What is that? Uh... Action, knowledge, come with me. We must witness this together. I don't know who that character is, but they had a lot of eyes. Interesting. So the piglins are taking over. What are these guys? They're very sparkly. Whoa. So maybe there really is two sides to this battle right now. Forsyth? You're afraid. We all are. No, I am just sad that it has come to this. Shall we begin? There's so many cool new characters. I like it. Whoa, so this just looks like a normal Minecraft village. Nice little basement here though. This looks like somebody's sort of Minecraft house. Oh. There we go, a little miner, nice diamond armor. Hello, friend. <laughs> we didn't mean to startle you. Your bravery and creativity inspired us to seek your aid. You see, our world is under attack. It's being devoured. And it is a danger only you can prevent. Time is of the essence. Will you help us? <laughs> Thank you. Now step forward, brave hero, and join us. Hang on to your stomach. This will just take a second. Oh, that is Welcome. so cool. I'm afraid we have much to ask of you. So this is like a whole different Minecraft world. Hello. I hope you're feeling okay. That kind of trip always upsets my stomach. <laughs> Thank you for having the courage to come. I am foresight. I'm action. And I'm knowledge. Nice to meet you. I wish you. we had met under different circumstances, but this world is under attack, and we need your help. Foul creatures known as the Piglins have emerged from their fiery home, and they mean to conquer this peaceful land and all the creatures that live here. We need your help to make sure that doesn't happen. But don't worry, you won't be alone. Behold. I always wanted to say that. <laughs> we present to you... Gifts! 
with the right melodies from this loot. The LAs will gather your resources, keep them safe for you, and build whatever you need. Within this case burn the flames of creation. The flames will call upon friends to fight by your side. Whoa, they're so cute. Helped us shape the overworld. And now they will help you defend it. And last but not least, this is the banner of courage. Raise it high and this world will rise to your aid. Sounds like a plan. So we got a little squad here. The piglins' hunger is insatiable. They already have a foothold in the overworld. And if they are not stopped, they will devour everything. We didn't prepare the creatures of our world for this day. But we believe you can. That's why we called upon you. If there is any hope, it's you. Well, I'm willing to help. Hello. <laughs> oh. Whoa, hey. <laughs> It's okay, let's hop on. Just enough to show you a thing or two about these tools. And I guess with that, we're going on our adventure. Whoa, so this is sort of going to be our tutorial There's on how no to play. What you'll face in the overworld now that the piglins are here. So the sooner you master these tools, the better. Head over to action and we'll get started. Oh man, I'm so excited to finally be playing Run to Action, Reach Action using WASD. Press the space bar to jump. Okay, we should be good to go then. See, I'm playing on mouse and keyboard right now, but I think, you know, you can play on controller Great. too. Now let's get to work. The okay. overworld is filled with resources you can gather to help you fight the piglins. And that's where the LAs come in. Play the right melody on your loot, and they'll gather anything for you. Oh. Let's start by playing the melody to gather wood. Gotcha, so gathering resources, gather 60 wood from the trees nearby. So we can center our build view, and I guess there's a tree here, so we left click to confirm, and here come the LAs. They're gonna take away all the pieces to this tree to uh, gather, gather some wood. Very cool. I don't see any other Make trees back this way. Is and use your loot to gather some stone. Ooh, okay. So, over here, no resources. Okay, wait, first we gotta run to you. Hi, nice action. Work. Let's do that again. This time, play the melody for gathering stone. All right, so there's a lot of stone over here. So do we think that would work? Oh, I need to change it. There we go. So now we can do it and gather, get a ton of stone. The LA's will be really busy with that one. Gather 60 stone from the stone pillars nearby. Okay, well, that's the plan. This is so now cool. You've got the resources you need. That's step one. Step two is playing the melody that will inspire the LA's to build what you need. Hey, build some stairs so you can come and join me up here. Ooh, so we get the build too. So building structures, reach action with a ramp. So we can press this to navigate to this, and then we right click and build it. Uh, I don't know if that's, oh, oh, I see. Okay, this might take a little bit of getting used to, but we should be able to build a ramp right up here. That is so neat. I like it. And now we can get over to action. Well done. Stairs are going to save you a lot of time out there. You'll use flames of creation to call your friends to battle. Lapis will keep these flames burning bright. Take some from that chest to play a spawner melody. Okay, so interacting. Open the chest near the near action. So I open up the chest. Whoa! Yeah, let's light those flames. Okay. Use the spawner melodies to call the columns you met earlier. Didn't I just open it? I'm a little confused. Uh, so I guess we go here, and we we do some spawners. Okay. Got some of those guys coming out. Building spawners, a golem spawner, right here and right there. Oh, great. Each spawner holds the flames of creation that will call upon your allies. Call them. Call your allies. Okay. So spawn three golems. Q hold the spawn golems while standing near a spawner. Okay, so I go like this, and I spawn in a couple. And then I do that for nice. this one. Got it. So we got three of each. Battle, but they'll rally behind you. Use the Banner of Courage to bring your friends over to me. Okay, the Banner of Courage. Mob rallying, rally your golems to action. So if I just press the button? Oh, I see, so I, I need to be closer to them. Hey guys, follow me, here we go. This is so cool, so it really is just like a, a game where we get to take our army Excellent. and do a bunch of stuff with it. If you want the golems to stop following you, use your banner again to ask them to stop. 
So stop railing, release your golems, hold and stop your golems from following you. There we go. So they're gonna wait there. We're gonna roll over this way. I don't know why he's so far away. Okay, so direct your golems to action. So I guess I might need to do that. I need to go farther out with it. So we just keep going. Got it. All right, very cool. I don't know why he is so far away. Okay, so destroy the piglin pits. Press Q to rally your golems to the piglins. Uh, okay, got it. And then over here. Then we press E to direct your golems to destroy the pits, which are these things right here. And whoa, the battle really commences. Can I help too? Yeah, I can swing my sword. That might make a bit of a difference. Um, yeah, we can press left click to attack the piglins with our sword. It's a really good stuff there. Keep going for this pit. Almost there. Got it. You've done it. Now take everything you've learned here into the real fight and the piglins won't stand a chance. It is good that you are ready as I must. Oh, oh no. But there we have it. Our first little mission, our trial mission figured out pretty well. We're a natural at this. We'll be able to take on big piglin armies in Thank no time. Thank you again for your courage. We are honored to have you as an ally. We'll be with you every step of the way. <laughs> Well, that's great to hear. Let's go save the world. So here we are making our way out into the world. All the villagers are happy to see us. Oh, it's so pretty here though. So I guess the piglins haven't quite reached it. Oh, those are some of the mounts, I think. Whoa, so many pretty creatures just to see here. Oh man, I love it. Welcome oh, and they came with us. World. We would love to introduce you properly, but a village needs your help. Please, go to them. So we have to go save a village. Use them to make sure you're going in the right direction. Will do. So, village under attack. Reach the village that is under attack. Way over this way, huh? Because there's the portal. So if we go this way, we should be able to help some villagers. And we can press M the seer map over here. So we're right there, and we're trying to go here. We provided you with some starting resources. But remember that the LA's can gather more for you while you make your way. Oh, that'd be great. This village is under attack. Go to them. Okay, so there's a village. Home of the, to the kind and peaceful villagers of the overworld. Growing and protecting villages will help you in your fight against the piglins. This village is under attack by piglin forces. So we'll definitely want to uh, go help out with that by just continuing this way. Lapis discovered, you discovered a new resource. So I guess if we want to, you know, get more resources, we can run up to a tree, like this one over here. This is a big tree, so yeah, we can get a good couple of them. And keep the LA's busy getting that wood while we try some other things. Now, I don't know if this is going to cancel with the other alleys or LA's are doing. Sort of hard to tell, but I don't, I don't think so. I think they're sort of both working together to get those resources. So that's really good. Yeah, you can see on the bottom left that we're going up with that. Now, apparently we can find Lapis somewhere. I did not see it by running by, but whoa, we got a little speed boost going on. I think we're almost at this village. Maybe, what is this thing? Whoa. Uh, can I interact with it at all? I don't think so, very weird. So I'll have to come back to that. Maybe it'll be something. We're at the dry savanna, very cool. Yeah, I wonder if there's different types of wood we could get. I'd have to assume so. I'll get a little chicken too. I don't know if we can, oh, we can maybe get some chicken meat from them, but I think I'll leave them alone. All right, we're zooming through again. Oh, this is interesting material too. So maybe I could, I can't really mine that in the same way. So we're sort of figuring things out as we adventure around, cause like here's more resources, but I just, I can't really do anything with them. Anyways, we'll keep going. Please hurry, the piglins are relentless. I'm trying, That's I'm trying. The get oh. over there quickly. There it is, yeah, I can see something's on fire. <gasps> Oh, oh no. no. This is a whole mess. Poor villagers. They have nowhere to go. They're being rounded up too. No. Not the little fox, leave them alone. <laughs> okay, they hit each other that time. This is a disaster, we have to help. 
All right, let's go in then. The so I think for right now, must be stopped. we got to spawn in our friends over here, just quickly, like this. Quickly, quickly. You have to get rid of all the piglins. Okay, so, whoa, 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 hold on. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I got to spawn in some friends. Piglins can be used to fuel your spawners. There Collect we go. Collect the lapis to keep your fires burning. All right, we got a lot of friends going on. Um, so we want to gather them all up, I think, and just have them attack wherever we can. So if we see stuff like this, I think that's what we want to go do. We fight some piglins along the way. Okay, guys, let's go over here and attack this stuff. Oh, are they attacking? Am I pressing the wrong button? Oh, no, this is a cage, so we don't break this open like the other thing, so we just gotta click and hold it. But while that's happening, I guess I should be sending out you know, everybody to fight like that. So we saved some villagers there, that's great. And then over this way, we got another one. I'll open up this cage after I fight off this big one. Are they still fighting? They're not really. <laughs> Need to make sure that they keep running around and taking guys out. So, okay, let's call them all over and then send them over this way. Oh no, did I tell them to stop? I gotta get used to the controls for sure. Uh, there you go, there you go. So they're fighting, they're keeping busy. Then we'll get them over here too. Come on guys. While that's happening. No, they're, no, they're, they're not coming over. <laughs> Come on guys, I gotta be really close for it to work it seems. That's okay then. Cause we just got another one opened up. I think we scared off all the big ones. There we go. We saved the day. They seem very happy about it. All in a day's work after all, but what's up there? Uh-oh. Whatever that is, is not looking so good. The immediate danger is over, but the village is devastated. The piglins have ruined the fountain. A carpenter hut will repair nearby structures. Get the LAs to work building one for you. Okay, so first I guess we have to repair structures. Building a carpenter hut near the, f the fountain to repair it. Uh, so this is the fountain, I guess. If we go here, we can build a carpenter hut. Sure, oh no, wrong one. Oh yeah, I gotta right click. So I'm gonna put one right there, and I guess that'll get started. Very cool. I don't know why it's so glowy here. I guess that's just exactly where I'm supposed to put it, but can I open up this chest? What do we get inside? The chest is empty. Please wait for villagers to fill it back up. Gotcha. So I guess now that we've saved this village, it sort of becomes a resource for us. We'll get different materials just building up here. So proceed to select the building hop bar to find it. Yep, okay, so we already built the carpenter hut. Now that it's built, what do we do? I don't know. Uh, Cause that didn't seem to do too much. Okay, no, there it goes. What a relief. The water flows again. Yeah, it looks good. So, with that done, we the got 5% of something. The an attack on another village. There is no time to waste. The villagers need you. Okay, so where are we headed now? If we take a look at our map, um, this village is fine, but this one over here is what we need to focus These on. Can we place a marker? Help. Yeah, we, let's go and help them out. Okay, so I think that's gonna be right over this way. So hopefully we can bring our friends. If we get them to follow us. Wasn't there more of them? Yeah, okay, here we go. They're all following me. We're all just gonna rush over. And while that's happening, we should probably continue to craft stuff or collect. So I can do that. If there's any kind of stone I can get, that's probably also a good idea because I'm a little low on stone. Can I climb up this? Whoa, I can. Very cool. Remember, What's that over there? the map and compass will show you the way. If I'm following the map and the compass, don't worry. I haven't really found too much more stone, but it looks like this might be some. Right here. Who's getting hurt? Oh no, it's because we ran through the, the toxic ooze over there. Gotta be careful of that. So there's still a lot to learn about how to play this and about this little world that we're in. But uh, we're getting there. I think if I run through this, right, this gives me a little speed boost, which is cool. We'll keep getting some other stuff. And then over here. So we just gotta sort of stay productive with everything as we're traveling around. Ooh, that was a little bit too far of a fall. But I think, yeah, we're almost at this village. So let's just do what we can to help. Oh no, here we go again. More images in the well. Is it our hero? Another village, it seems. And more piglins. Not again. Should we go warn them? As much as it hurts our hearts to see this happen, 
We must trust that our hero will see them through it. Ooh, they have a lot of lapis. Oh no, but here they come. Hopefully we've made it in time to stop them. The village was so nice and peaceful too. Okay, so here we are. We're gonna rush over as fast as we can to this meadow. Set that up there. And while we do already have some, I think we should set up some more of these. It is a good idea that we, you know, we brought over what we did, but they're still building stuff. In the meantime, I guess we need to, we need to just go fight, right? Okay, so, spawn in some friends. And this one's almost done. Okay, everybody, follow me. We're in a fight. I just started to feed all these evil piglins. It tells me how many are left on the screen. It says that there's like you five left, I think. We have to the piglins attacking the village. We can't allow them to come gain on, any on. ground. Got it. Or at least maybe how many more I have to defeat before something happens. There we go. And that was it. That restored the fountains. That was a really quick one. We did great. The piglins are gone. We thank you. And the villagers want to thank you too. Go to the village chest at the base of the fountain for a surprise. Ooh, villager help. Open the vill village chest to collect the villagers help. So we go over here, hold Q to open the chest and we get ourselves. The villagers are peaceful, but want to help where they can. As gratitude, you can count on their resourcefulness to keep you in the fight. They'll keep gathering materials for you while you're out saving the day. Okay, the well they give are us- The rallying on the outskirts of the village. I think another attack is on the way. Better build up some defenses while there's still time. Okay, so we got some prismarine there, the village defense. Build defenses Arrow around the village. Will work well to defend this village. So we have things like this ta arrow tower. So I guess this will shoot arrows at the piglins. That is so cool. So I can sort of set a couple of those up around the village, to make sure everything is nice and protected. This is awesome. So I guess there's probably going to be attacks on these villages when we're not even here. So having these defenses set up you need to get some is a good idea. Up around the village. I also want to set up some more of the, uh, there we go. Maybe a little bit more over here. I think we can set up one more tower. But in the meantime, oh, we probably got some other stuff, right? Let's see. Oh no, that's the wrong button. But okay, this is good to know. There's a little journal here. Yeah, let's go back. Or not, it's not on me move. There it goes. There's uh, still some time to gather up resources if you're getting low. But so we quick. have an extendable wall. Uh, whoa, this is cool. So let's have those, like that. Then I guess there's sort of a limit on how big the wall can be, but we'll build it over this way too. Cause this is gonna block piglin attacks. And obviously I can't get this the everywhere, right? Close. Don't forget, but, your golem friends want to help too. Okay, well, I'm glad to hear that. We're just trying to build as much of a wall as possible. Maybe over here. They're almost here. Oh, I can't watch this. Ooh, very scary. But come on, we just gotta keep building. I'll definitely have to get more materials soon, but I think we're doing the a good job. Obviously, here. the wall's not seamless. Brace yourself, hero. So I guess they're gonna be coming out of that portal over there? Hard to tell. Oh no, here we go. Hopefully I prepared enough in time. More piglins approaching. Well, this could get really messy really fast. The piglins will attack from all sides. So be sure to check your compass to see where they're coming from. Okay, so we, had, we could have also built ramps and gates and stuff, but I think we overall did a good job. I can maybe build like one more tower or something somewhere. Um, in the meantime, the things are getting a little crazy here. I. I guess they're coming over from the other side, but if I could get myself some extra wood for later while we're fighting, because it seems like over this way, defeat the waves of the attacking piglins. Um, I don't see any of them yet, but they gotta be coming in somewhere, right? Uh, oh, wait, here we go, here we go. So let's go and fight them as much as we can. I think the, uh, well, wait, there was some lapis over here too, so I guess for just defeating piglins and stuff, we're getting those kind of materials. That's good. And you know, let's call over all of our friends. But it can be a little bit difficult to tell where they're coming in from. I guess over here, all the villagers are freaking out. I mean, I would be too. Yeah, you can see some marks on the wall great. there. Just a little longer and you've got this. Okay, come on guys, come on. Just trying to get over here to them. Here we go, it's gonna be a big fight. Huge crowd of them. But our wall is really doing a good job. So that's nice. There we go, so that sort of got all of them. I'm gonna call my teammates over. 
I just try to show up somewhere else now. Hmm. Seems like there might be a crowd of them over here now. Whoa, there definitely is. So, gotta fight away all these guys. Just slicing and dicing. Oh, it's the piglins! Hurry, the villagers need I noticed. to help right now! Okay, have they breached the walls? They might have. I have no clue. Okay, there's one more over here. We got you. Only 25 more seconds left in this invasion. I think we can hold it off, but just trying to find out where else there might be some other piglins. Here, maybe we can spawn in some more friends too. Seems like pretty doable. And then we'll recall them all to make sure that they're all right here with us and continue on. So it looks like way over here, they might be attacking this wall again. I just need to run over there and start fighting. And you can see some more coming over too, so. The attack is over, but some piglins. Oh, there we go, we got them. So we saved the village yet again. This one was a little bit more complicated, but we were able to build some good defenses You've for them too. <laughs> village saved. We knew you'd do it. The villagers are thrilled that you defended their fountain. They've put some extra resources in the chest for you as a special thank you. Awesome. You are doing well. But piglins do not give up easily. Even now, they prepare an attack upon another of our villages. But this time we have the advantage. If you can shut down the piglin outpost surrounding the village, we might be able to push back this invasion. So there's always something happening. Now we're gonna go to a piglin outpost. Destroy the three piglin outposts that are threatening a nearby village. We'll do that as soon as we open this, this chest where we have some kind of resource. We hit the resource carry limit for something, but uh, and cannot collect resources in the chest. How, what do I do with them now? It looks like I've hit my maximum for Lapis. The game hasn't really told us what we do with Lapis quite yet. Maybe I can trade it at some of the villages or something like that. Um, for right now, it's sort of yet to be seen. But you know what? I think we have some other things to focus on. Like there's a little question mark here. Curious, what could this be? And then what else? I think, is that where we are just right now? The village successfully defended against an attack um, and it produces its own resource. So let's go here. And then we have to make our way to these ones. Is there, oh, I can fast travel too, that's so cool. But I'm really curious about this question mark, so I wanna go check that out too. But yeah, I can fast travel to the villages we've already been to and have helped, so that's good to know. But for now, I just wanna run over this way. And whenever I can, if I can just get the lays, you know, build some stuff, or, you know, I guess not build, but collect some stuff, that's gonna be good too. So running over here, I'm very, very curious. Am I almost there? Almost there. So, we're in the Badlands, ooh. <laughs> oh, Those here it is. Those don't appreciate who's in the bath with them. Pay them a visit and you'll get a surprise. Whoa. Ah, you've discovered an old friend of ours. You two will get along nicely, but we have to focus on the immediate piglin threat. We'll teach you a song to wake this golem up later. Huh, so I can't do that quite yet. Okay, good to know. So I'm gonna fast travel to this little village and then make our way over from there, just to save us a little bit of time. Here we are. So I guess I'll just go to one of the Piglin Outposts and get to fighting. And is there anything in this chest? Uh, no. So <laughs> I guess it was good to check, but it didn't really turn out with much. So we'll run over here and help out this next village. So as you can see, there's a lot to keep busy with. There's a ton of trees over here, so I'm definitely gonna do that. And then maybe even just a couple of stones. Are those not stones? I guess not. Cap reach. Oh, I have the max amount of stones. Oh, okay, so I'll definitely have to make the most of that, but we still definitely need more wood. Those are some big trees to capture too. So we're running through this jungle right now. It's very cool. Uh-oh. Those spiders? Oh no, they're like beetles. Those are new, I think. Very cool. And what's with these little glowy spots, I wonder? Not quite sure. Oh, is it just another speed boost kind of thing? It might be. So there's a lot to learn in this Minecraft world. That village attack could happen any moment now. You have to go after the new piglin outposts. Okay, I'm Never almost spiders. there. The pollution they create makes the air breathable for the piglins. Okay, so let's go and beat up this thing right here. We're going crazy on it. So this thing makes it so it's breathable for the piglins? It's sort of hard to tell. But we're just gonna fight this thing, the nether spreader outpost. Destroy the pickling pits and the nether spreaders in this outpost. Cobblestone golems are great at smashing buildings. Pine golems are good at, against piglins. Okay, good to know. We're gonna try to call everybody over. I might wanna make some new spawners. Yeah, okay, so 
I can't do that on this terrain. So we have to go all the way back over here, spawn in some of those while my teammates are fighting. And they're really going crazy on this, one, as you can see. It takes a while to destroy. There's not really any kind of like health bar on it or anything, so it's hard to tell if this is really doing too much. Oh no, come on, leave my friends alone. And did we get it? Nope. Huh. Let's get back over here. Let's just create a bigger and bigger army. Like maybe that's what we need. Especially with these guys, if they can destroy buildings more easily, I want to make a lot of them. Oh yeah, your spawn army is full. Okay, so actually I can't make too much more. Um, let's get everybody back together. And maybe I'm doing something wrong because this thing still isn't broken. Maybe I need to break this thing first. Does that do anything? Uh, sort of? Yeah, okay, it, it's definitely doing something. So maybe I need to, oh no, it did finally break, okay. That's good. But now we're focusing on this. We just don't have too many of our little guys here, so I wonder if there's a way to unspawn some of them? Cause I only have two of the building busters, or whatever. Oh no, I do have more, they just didn't follow me. Okay, come on guys, we need you over here with the rest of them. There we go, that should make a bit of a difference, right? So we can keep pounding on this thing and hopefully, eventually it breaks. Ooh, that knocks us all back a little bit. There we go, we finally got it. So I want to call everybody over and do more of the same over here. It's pretty crazy though how, you know, it takes a lot of work. Is there more people over here? There is. Okay, I don't want that, I want them all over here. And then just send it against this. I hope that's working. It seems like it is. Got it so far. I don't know if there's a way I can maybe hit both of them with my sword swing. It doesn't seem like it. We are taking some damage, but it really isn't too much. It's just crazy how much of beating these buildings take. It really takes a good moment to get rid of them, which is sort of concerning because there's two more like this. Uh, which makes me think maybe I'm doing something wrong. It's taking this long to get rid of it all. Maybe that's just how the game works. Come on, come on. after this, I mean, it says 12 out of 20 on the bottom right, which makes me think maybe I've like missed some along the way. What if I were to recall everybody? But they're all right here. It doesn't seem like it, no. Okay, so what if I just kept spawning in some more of these? Here we go, okay, now this is working. There we go, so let's do that, maybe remove a couple of these guys. Oh no, not remove the thing. Ah, oh, I thought I was gonna remove the, the, the little guys. Okay, well, now I'm fully up to 20 of them. So if we go and attack this, you think that'd be a little bit more productive, right? I guess we'll have to wait and see. So far it's a little crazy, but. Oh man, I think it might be better to attack this thing because we started with this thing, you know? This is crazy how much health this thing seems to have. It takes a good minute just to get rid of everything. Which makes me think I'm doing something wrong just because of how much time it's taking, but I don't know, maybe because it's, you know, not so complicated part of the game just yet. That it just takes time, but it's not very complicated at all. We're just gonna keep attacking it. I do want to, oh, we finally got it, that's great. But now we gotta do the same thing with these other two things. Oh my goodness. Go. Okay, that one's broken. Okay, let's get over here then. Beat this up as soon as possible. Here we go, see this one's breaking pretty quick. At least it looks like it. Let's have everybody attack it. Come on. Come on, we got it, we got it. Keep going. It's definitely starting to crumble a little. Even when this happens, just call everybody back in and keep up with it. There we go, that is that one outpost cleared out. We still have so much more to do, but I guess that's a good start. Destroying those nether spreaders will help clear the air. All right then, so with that done, oh, something's happening. Whoa. So with the air cleared from the destroyed outpost, whoa, it's a creeper, it's so cute. I love how adorable the creepers are in this game. Interesting. The world is waking to the war. Where will this lead? So even the creepers are against the piglins. 
Well, that's one of them down, but as you can see, we still gotta keep busy here. There's still two more to take on. So we'll focus on that in today's episode, a horde of piglins spreading malice and nasty netherrack. We'll get rid of those two for today's episode, and I think we'll leave it at that, but in the meantime, gotta run around over here. They're still threatening this village, and I, and I don't want that to happen. But hopefully we can find ways to destroy things a bit faster, because that was definitely a bit slower. Um, is there anything I can... Here we go. I want to get a little bit more stone. Lava? Here? We clearly underestimated their capacity for corruption. Remember the ramps you built with us at the well? They don't only have to go up. Ask the LA's to build you a bridge across that moat. I'm gonna recall all of our friends here, and that's actually, I definitely missed a good few of them, but uh, we have all of them now. So we need to get to this gated outpost. Destroy the gates and piglin pits in this outpost. Build a ramp to bring your mobs over the lava. Cobblestone golems are great at smashing buildings. I didn't know about that. So let's try to build this ramp like this. So I guess I, can I rotate it? I can rotate it, sort of, kind of. Um, well, that's not what I wanted. Okay, now we're all burning up. This is, uh. Not what I wanted. A ramp to get over this. Let's just build this now then, because I just lost all my friends. Did that work? I don't think it did. There it goes. So, I definitely lost a good few. Let's recall everybody. <laughs> Lesson learned, right? I think I need more help busting buildings than I do fighting piglins, so if we could just do that. Call everybody over. Now we'll be a building busting machine. So, here we are, let's just go for it. Can they break this open? They can, ooh, look at them all go. Come on guys, we need everybody to, to pitch in here. There we go, it's a little crowded, it's a little crowded, but they're definitely punching through it. Come on, come on. I think this is probably our best strategy though. Some of them are trying to get over, but that's where I can maybe slice them. I actually can't quite reach them yet. The wall is sort of protecting me from both sides, but it really shows that you really need as many of the cobblestone golems. There's nothing standing between you and those barracks. All right, let's Except go for it then. Piglins. These piglins are really determined to keep us at bay, but I think we get everybody. Come on, everybody. We're gonna fight over here. And it's gonna be quite the fight. We might lose a couple of golems along the way, but we'll figure it out. So I wanna send everybody to this. There we go. Sometimes it can be a bit difficult to control things specifically, but I think we'll get the hang of it the more we play, but so far this game is so cool. Got it. More piglins are coming in. I'm just trying to fight those guys off as they destroy this thing. Okay, we got it, we got it, we got it. Okay, so now we go over here. We send them all over. All these piglins trying to cause us problems. And let's just go over here and destroy this one. Once this is destroyed, I think we're good to go. We haven't lost any of our golems yet either, so I think we've done a great job. Much better than last time. So that's another piglin thing destroyed. Good. There is still one more outpost, however. Okay, so where could that be? Way over there, huh? No, over here. Can I fast travel to that? I don't think I can. So we'll have to do a little bit of a long run over, but what is this over here? Brilliant beetle. The brilliant beetle calls the jungle home. It can usually be found skittering about, playing among the dense vegetation. I wonder if I can catch them or something. Anyways, we do want to make another ramp. Maybe just here, just so that we can get around. Uh, that's not what I wanted. Got it. Just so that we can adventure freely. Make our way to this next goal point. But so far, we're doing amazing. I think the more we figure out about this game, the better we're gonna do. And that's definitely the case so far. So let's just make sure that the LA's are getting some more wood. Okay, these, oh, I guess these are stone? Huh, they're like stone trees. Very neat. And we gotta remember to run through this little sort of patch of tall grass, because it makes us run even faster, which is cool. I'll set that up there. Let's not go too far to the side that we're actually supposed to be running over this way. We haven't actually gone through the village that we're trying to save yet, but I'm sure we'll run into it sooner or later. Okay. Yeah, so far, very positive impression on this game. I, I really think it's a lot of fun, so definitely gonna be looking forward to playing more soon. But for now, we're to here. Weather engineering, but those Blazewood towers are pretty dangerous, and their range is impressive. The LAs will help you get up there with a ramp. 
All you have to do is play the right melody. Okay, so I'm just recalling everybody to make sure that we're all here and we need to build another ramp. So I go here, I go like that. No, no, wait, got it. And now we get the fighting in just a moment. I might wanna slice away a couple of those guys before we get up there. Okay, here we go, here we go. And I want everybody to focus on this thing first, I think is a good idea. We can break this down and they won't be able to spawn in as many bad guys. So definitely wanna do that. It is so cool though to build up a little army and then just command them over, get a bunch of stuff done. I see this pickle coming over. Got them pretty quick though. And we almost, yeah, have this thing broken. Calling everybody over again and we're going for this big tower. Gotta watch out with all the arrows being shot at us. Unfortunately, that means we are losing some friends. But I think that while they're busy, maybe I'll run back down and get a couple more. That is always something I can do, right? So I wanna spawn in two more and get them to come with me. I see you over here, I need to help you out. Come on, come over here. And with this thing destroyed, great job, everybody. Let's get everybody together and send them against this last tower. Some of them I went a little too far down, <laughs> that's okay. We're just gonna topple this thing, and then afterwards, that should be all the outposts defeated. Come on, come on, it's almost there. We got it. So there we go, all three of the people in outposts near this village have been destroyed. Apply really the right pressure, and even the tallest tower will fall. So what's gonna happen now? This is Creeper again. The curious Creeper is back, and they brought a friend. Ah. What do you think they'll do? We will find out soon enough. Oh no. Ooh. So maybe they won't team up with the Piglins. Maybe they'll team up with us. How cool would that be? If we get the command different mobs like that, that'd be awesome. After defeating all those outposts, you've collected quite a bit of Prismarine. Bring it to me at the will of fate, and I'll show you how to build something that will be very useful for you. Huh. You are attuned to the waters of the well. You can travel here quickly anytime you wish. Awesome. So that's what we just did right here. We traveled to the, the well of fate. Knowledge? What are you doing out there? <laughs> I'm working on a little something extra to help the hero. Whoa. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, the water and the flowers or something. What do you think? Ah! <laughs> they are perfect. Oh, so they the new goals. Friendly with the piglins, I assure you that. Okay, okay, go on now. Join your new friends. You two, little one, go on. That is amazing. So we have some new golems to command here. Now, of course, I think Most we'll take a bigger look at next episode. To join you, but you'll need a special resource to build them. I've written the melody for you. You'll just need to build the right improvement. Huh. Customize your hotbar. Open your songbook. Add the improvement. Gather iron to your melody's hotbar. Very Interesting. Nice. This is where all the wonderful melodies you learn will be kept. Now go ahead and turn the pages. There you go. Now choose the structure that improves your loot to play the iron melody, and the LAs will build it for you. Okay, so assign improvement gather iron to a slot, Great. so you can do that. Now go ahead and build your iron improvement. Okay, so how do I do that though? I guess I can build it over here. But before we get into that too much, I think that's where we're gonna leave it for today's episode. This is all really cool. So we got our first look here of Minecraft Legends, able to build up an army and take on the evil piglin menace that's taking over the world. Definitely let me know if you wanna see more episodes soon. I'll be trying to play as much of this as I can in the next few days. But with that being said, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Minecraft Legends. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.